so talk to me a little bit more about what you guys discussed today. Uh, we had a very productive meeting this morning, and what we were discussing is increasing the law enforcement presence in our community, uh, and specifically targ targeting the illegal possession of guns and illegal guns in our community. It's a huge problem, uh, and we're just not going to tolerate these senseless acts of violence in our community, so we're going to do everything that we can to make sure we're curbing that this summer. And this meeting was a special meeting, correct? Very special meeting, yes. What prompted this meeting to be called? Uh, uh, the high profile events in the community and the way that the community reacts to it, uh, although crime numbers are down in our community, it doesn't mean much to me and my administration and law enforcement if the people of Shreveport don't feel safe. So what we're trying to do is make sure the people of Shreveport are feeling safe. Uh, so that's why we, we, we call this meeting uh, to really get after that crime especially going into the summer when typically crime rises. I know you guys had a lot of calls and concerns too after the uh, mailman incident too, correct? Yes, yes, we did. Uh, and, and we visited with the family, but again, that's one of those high profile events in our community um, that there are proactive ways that we can get after uh, preventing those in the future. Was this special meeting sparked as a result of that incident? Uh, well, that incident definitely plays a part in it, but crime overall. Uh, I ran on a platform to make sure that the community uh, was safer. Um, so it just overall is uh, the reason why we're having these meetings. What, you got it. Sheriff, I have a question for you. Yes, um, I know uh, you guys, uh, there's a lot of agencies here and you guys are working together. How important is that to band together um, that everybody is working on this? Oh, it's extremely important. We have to battle a couple of things. We have to battle reality and we have to battle perception. And the reality is that we're, we are after crime, not just in the parish, but in the city too, and the deputies and the, and the patrolmen of Shreveport Police Department, federal authorities, prosecutors on both sides. Uh, we're, we're after the criminals, but we're also after the fact that we gotta, gotta drive the, per, the perception that the public has. We have to, have to get them to understand that, that Shreveport and Kettle Parish is getting safer. Uh, no matter what you might hear, it is getting safer and we're doing all that we can to, uh, to drive perception up and the numbers down. And that's going to take place if we get criminals, repeat offenders with guns, get them off the street and that's our emphasis. What sorts of solutions did you guys discuss today to continue to curtail violence across Caddo Shreveport? Well, we discussed, uh, we discussed number one, how to keep people from getting guns. We discussed how to catch them if they've gotten guns, how to prioritize if they've gotten guns and they've done violent crimes before, whether to send it to the uh, local or the federal prosecutors and how to separate those and how to get them to trial quickly. And then we discussed also how to let the public know that we are there for them. We're working 100%. We're on eight cylinders, both uh, Kettle Parish Sheriff's Office and the Shreveport Police Department and the federal authorities, also the state police. And so we're doing, doing what we can do and we're going to re-up our commitment to do even more. How many agencies uh, were here today? Or do you guys know all of them? Or can you tell uh, us? Yeah, we, the U.S. Attorney's Office was here today, the state troopers were here, the Sheriff's Office, uh, the, the U.S. Marshals, uh, the City Marshals, uh, Shreveport Police Department. Uh, we also had council members here as representatives as well. So uh, we, we had a large uh, group of people and it really showed the teamwork that's going to be involved. So I have Councilman Flurry here and Councilman Green sat in the meeting as well. Two council members that also are very committed to the public safety of Shreveport. What do you want to tell residents as we enter into these summer months about the safety of the parish? the city as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to let our residents know that uh, we understand historically in the summer we see a lot of crime, but our law enforcement agencies, our elected officials are 100% committed to making sure that we stop crime as best as we possibly can. A question here, um, do you guys meet qu quarterly or with all these agencies or are you guys going to have any more meetings? So we do have quarterly meetings, but this meeting this morning was not a quarterly meeting. Uh, this was a meeting, um, again, us just being proactive as we go into the summer uh, to make sure that we get everybody on the same page. And, and just let me interrupt and just say this. Uh, the fact that we meet quarterly and you know about it is one thing. The fact that we meet almost daily with, with our counterparts and other law enforcement agencies and prosecutors and all. So it's a constant and ongoing communication um, of, of intelligence and information back and forth. So it's constant. It's not just every three months we get together. So just wanted to make sure you understood that. So it's, I guess it's fair to say that this meeting was, call, was called to make sure that you guys were all on the same page going into 
uh, potential summer violence. Yes. Where, all right, Sheriff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say. Well, you know, that's what I was trying to reassure you. We right. are, and we are always on the same page. Very seldom we're not on the same page, mm -hmm. and so we're saying the same things, but a little bit differently. We want to assure you, we're always on the same page. Mm -hmm. But then we get together quarterly to let you and the media, the public, the the elected officials. Uh, we let them know that we are communicating and you know, talk about the big issue things, uh, such as what we need to do about the fact that we have the same repeat criminals carrying guns and hurting our citizens, and we have to do something about that, uh, to the big picture things. So we talk every day about the trees. We get together every three months and talk about the forest.